everyone, welcome to Bickering Book Reviews. I'm Sarah. And I'm Becky. And today we're talking about Kiss Collector by Wendy Higgins. So, dudes are the worst. And Zay's finding that, that out quickly because her boyfriend, she just recently caught cheating. Now her parents are getting divorced and she just can't handle it anymore. Um, so, now that she's on spring break, her and her girls have decided that they're going to go into a contest to see who can kiss as many boys as possible, no strings attached, basically girls being dudes. In relation to all of this, too, they're juniors, so they still have to kind of think forward about like what they're doing with their futures, and essentially it's just maybe they're starting to have feelings for these guys that they're not supposed to have any strings attached to. I mean, there really isn't much to this plot. Like, There's nothing Ugh. more for me to really say. So, Wendy Higgins had that sweet series with the, they were like demons and angels, and I loved that. I know I, I liked that. I, I liked the characters, I liked the story, I liked the way it was plotted, like, I liked her bad boy, I liked the good guys, I liked the main character. This ain't that. <laughs> Not even close. This actually was, like, like, it was, like, oh, by the way, um, I think I got, oh, yeah, I got it off of NetGalley, I think. Edelweiss for me. I got it from somebody. Um, so, but it was, it <clears throat> was, I can't even describe it, it was, like, it was like it picked at every one of my pet peeve nerves. I I can see that. <laughs> I, I didn't like the characters, but it wasn't just no, that I didn't like I the didn't characters. I didn't like any of the characters. I didn't. I didn't like, like I maybe kind of sort of potentially liked the, like, Zay love interest, like the stronger one. But, but even that. But his backstory, I was like... What was that? Like, there was, like, it just, like, boom, right at the, like, end. Like, there was no kind of development of it at all. And I felt like, I felt like this book felt like an adult who wasn't necessarily interacting with teens, how she thought they should talk. Well, and then there's that. And then, like, kind of some of the descriptions, they felt like vaguely racist and I, I'm interested to see kind of like what the reading community thinks I'm just saying like when you describe your neighborhood as thug I just and then to like kind of be so obsessive about what race and background every character is except for your main character like I don't even know what color her hair is I don't know what color her eyes are does remember. she spray tan I mean she's a cheerleader maybe she does maybe she doesn't maybe she's African American and therefore would not spray tan I don't know I just and it's the main character, so shouldn't you know something like that? And like, what does her brother like really look like? I mean, she says he's tall and gangly, but what color is his hair? What color are his eyes? Well, and like, first of all, the whole book with the, with the way that they're and it's not a bad idea about this idea of these girls taking back the power and like kissing these boys. That's not a bad idea. It's been done before too. It so. has been done before, but the way they went at it felt like a cautionary tale. I kept thinking one of these girls is going to get attacked because they were like. Going into parties at places they didn't know, and everybody was drinking, and they were leaving their friends while they, like, and I'm like, mm, no. So there was that. And then, like, the way it all kind of, like, came together with, like, she had this dream, and that was starting to fall apart, and all that felt super convenient. It almost also felt like you're plotting along, you're plotting along. Oh, I have to only write 50 more pages. Let's finish this now. So you're right. The, um... Ending was convenient. However, I can certainly appreciate the fact that the main character is good at languages. You never see I that. that. Like yes. that, I I can appreciate that, and I can appreciate the fact that she doesn't want to go to college. I appreciate because I feel like they do push the college thing, and I think it was also something that was interesting because um, my sister's very good at languages. She speaks like three or four languages, and there's really not much you can do with it. And but some people just are really good at it. And that's like a struggle this main character's having. And she's really trying to find like, I'm good at languages. I want to learn languages more. I don't want to go to college for all this time and waste this money because there's not anything I can do with studying this. And I liked that debate, but that was like this much of the book. <laughs> that's true. But I really enjoyed that much of the book. Right. And, I, and I think it certainly kind of reaches out to those readers who who need to find kind of that that character that they can right. kind of see themselves in because you don't see that often. I mean, not only is it, there were several main characters who were like, colleges is not going to happen. It's not in my future. And some people, I mean, not everybody needs to go to college. Some people are like, that's not what I want. I would much rather get certified or go get this training and get this job and more right. power to you because you don't want to see my student loan bills. Um, 
I don't want to see my certain moments. <laughs> yes. Well, I thought it was also something, because I think they kind of touched on the fact that she's like, they're like, well, you could be an interpreter. And that was something that my sister actually looked into, and it's really, really, really hard to be an interpreter, and they don't pay that well unless you're working for, like, the UN, and that's almost impossible mm-hmm. to get. Um... And you would, I, and like me personally, I would think that you could write your own ticket if you could speak several languages, because just to bridge that community communication mm-hmm. gra- gap. But. No, because like they're very full, they're very few full time jobs, and there's like something that she that's said in the book. She's like, I don't want to be a Spanish teacher, yeah. and that's like that's what you do. Um, we should rate it. So the rating system starts at the top with five unicorns. We go down to two unicorns. If we don't like it, it's a horse. Um, two unicorns. I meant to. I'd probably give it a half just for the fact that she likes um, languages, but we don't do have so. The languages is what got the two, yeah. And they aspect of college. So that is where we are on Kiss Collector by Wendy Higgins. See you around. Bye.